some of you out there commented and you're like cycle cruiser man why are you talking bad about super bikes you know fast motorcycles you talking about these little old slow motorcycles like the MT-07, man. Everybody knows the fast bikes are more fun, man. And why are you acting like a grumpy old man now that's saying, get off my lawn? Why are you acting like that, man? You know what I'm saying? Why can't you be cool again and be like you were when you were riding the CBR-1000 double R? Well, I'm fixing to tell you the young to old rider transition. Let's go for a ride. Oh. Subscribe today. If you want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe. All of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section. I've had a lot of the different motorcycles, of course. You know I had the CBR 1000 RR, the Priya Tuano V4 1100 factory, CBR 600 RR. I had the fast bikes, the, the beautiful, sexy bikes, you know, that uh, most people think are beautiful out here on the streets and, and, and going fast, you know, having a fast motorcycle is sexy to a lot of you guys out there, especially noobs out there, young, young riders. First off, I want to say I ain't even hit 50 yet, man. So I feel I'm not old yet. <laughs> and in my heart, I'm still, I'm still probably, I feel like I'm 20 still, man. You know what I'm saying? When I'm on my, my supermoto, I'm acting like a teenager out there busting wheelies and everything. So for those of you guys that are like cycle cruising, why are you acting like an old man telling the kids to get off your lawn now, talking bad about super bikes and stuff? No, I'm telling you to trade the, the, the fast fun for the slow fun on like the supermoto and be a hooligan on the supermoto and bust some wheelies and, and ride up staircases and, and and do that kind of fun because that's less less likelihood that you're going to die from that compared to doing 150 plus miles per hour out there acting a fool you know putting your life at risk and other people's lives at risk you know what I'm saying? I used to do that. I'm not going to be a hypocrite and act like I've never done that before. Of course, you know, my logo is still has the C me on the CBR 1000 double R and will always be. Um, I love that bike. I love all motorcycles. Let's make this clear, guys. I love the super bikes. I love all of them, man. I love all of them. Just some better than others. Super bikes used to be at the top of my list. Okay. Um, but times have changed. You get older, you get wiser, and, uh, and you get tired of cops following you, trailing you, waiting for you to mess up in speed so they can put you in jail to, you know, give you a, a, a felony or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, and your insurance skyrockets. Uh, you have some close calls out there where you felt like you were closer to the Grim Reaper, <laughs> you know. And, uh, and then you, you wake up and you start to realize, man, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it to be acting a fool out here on the streets. It really isn't, man. I've come to appreciate the OG riders that rode the uh, super bikes. And then they're, you know, now they're on Harleys. I, a lot of my friends have transitioned. And, um, you know, a lot of people feel that the younger riders tend to gravitate towards the super bike super sports and stuff like that and then when you get older you end up on a harley davidson and that's that happened most of my friends are on harley davidson's now man um because they went through all that they, they went through the whole speed phase and then you 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 realize that uh speed in a straight line gets old after a while after a, a few several years of doing that it just gets lame man and then you really start to appreciate torque bottomy grunt like this mt07 has listening to the beautiful sound and just cruising out here and enjoying the scenery out here in cleveland ohio you know in other places just chilling you don't have to be speeding all the damn time to have fun on a motorcycle man you know what i'm saying you guys you youngsters out there are missing the whole point of riding it's not about speed now the track is about speed and that's where you want to be the track having fun and getting some knee slide action in and and that's and it's in a safer environment with no cars no no road debris clean clean track uh, clean concrete not potholes no animals running across the street you know what i'm saying no crazy drivers coming at you 
know what I'm saying? They have uh, emergency personnel on hand. So if you do have a you know, crash on the track, they're ready to help you and can save you. And, you know what I'm saying? You'll be okay. Okay, out here on the street is a different game. When you start acting like a street Rossi out here, speeding around corners, flying on the highway, and then you end up crashing or something, man, you're not only putting yourself at risk, but you're putting the public at risk. And uh, it just ain't worth it, man. It's not worth it. And then if you get caught by the cops, a lot of times the cops may let you let you, you go on and because uh, you know, a lot of them have a no-chase policy. But sometimes... You know, they can go ahead and send a chopper out on you and get that helicopter. And you ain't you ain't not running a helicopter, Jack. <laughs> and if they locate you and, and get you with the helicopter, it's a wrap. You're getting a felony. You're, you're going to have huge fines. You, your license can get suspended. You're just going to be up a, a shit creek. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is it worth it for that few minutes of fun, of speeding? It makes no sense, man. You know what I'm saying? Um... Like I said, we've had some, some motor vloggers out here that got killed out here doing the street Rossi stuff out here, man. There's a guy named Moto Frogger out in Australia. He was racing another uh, motor vlogger uh, on YouTube, and, and he ended up losing control of his bike, and he crashed, I think, into a tree, and, uh, and he died. And uh, there's another one, Donnie Brasco here of the Cleveland Fast Boys that do these smackdowns. He died uh, several years ago. Um, some people say he was being chased by the cops or something. I don't know. He was speeding, got busted, and tried to outrun him. And then he ended up hitting the back of a car. Which that's what happens out here a lot of times when you're speeding. Is that a car will make a lane change without you realizing. Like you won't have it. Because the faster you go, the less reaction time you have. So if they pull in front of you without you seeing it or you paying attention. You're going so fast. And they, they're not seeing you because you're like a lightning bolt. And then they pull in your lane and you can't stop fast enough and bam, you hit the back of that car and you're probably going to die <laughs> or, or you're going to wish you were dead. Is it worth it? No, it ain't worth it, man. So that's why the young to old rider transition, you are lucky if you become an old rider. Because <laughs> uh, a lot of these young riders are getting killed out here and old riders are getting killed out here. Um, because a lot of these older riders are having a midlife crisis and they want to get a motorcycle to feel sexy again. <laughs> and, uh, and then they, they see these guys on YouTube doing smackdowns on the highway and, um, and, and try to emulate that. Then they crash out here and get killed on the street. So all ages are getting killed out here, but it's not seasoned. A lot of times it's not seasoned riders because seasoned riders, after a certain point, they... You know, they get wiser out here <laughs> and start to uh, realize that you just got to enjoy the cruise and the torque out here, man. And they, they trade that sport bike in for a Harley Davidson or some other cruiser or whatnot. You know, I traded my sport bikes in basically for this. This is my cruiser, this uh, MTL7 here, man. Listen, I call it my Yamaha Davidson. And, of course, I got my, my Supermoto, which I think that's the best, most best uh, slow fun you can have out there. The thing's a wheelie machine. My YZ450FX custom supermoto. Um, that thing, that's the most fun bike I ever had in my life, man. And um, that's what I'm telling you guys. Listen to the OG riders, man. You know what I'm saying? I guess I can. I consider myself an OG rider now. I've been riding for solidly since 2000 and, uh, about 2009. And I've been had all the different types of motorcycles, dual sport, you know, uh, I've had the super sport, super bike, uh, uh, muscle cruiser, everything. I've had a little bit of everything, man. And um, I'm telling you, I just, I come to realize that the, sp the sport bikes are just, uh, it's just, they're not practical. <laughs> and they're not that, they're not comfortable to ride out here on the streets. You know what I'm saying? You're hunched over. And uh, I don't have any back problems or anything. It's just I'm not out here trying to uh, look cool out here. Because a lot of you guys, I think, that draws you to the uh, super bikes is, is the, the sexiness of it. And you think that people care out here. Uh, that they're looking at you. Because you're probably, a lot of times, you're doing it for attention. You know what I'm saying? Not just for fun. Just attention. to look cool. You know, some, some of you guys want to join a... You know a sport bike club or whatnot and be part of something 
But a lot, you know, these people out here, pedestrians and just and car drivers, these people, none of these people, they don't even like you. Most people don't like, they don't care less about bikers. We're, we're an annoyance and irritation to most of them. You know what I'm saying? The only people that appreciate us on motorcycles is, is fellow bikers. And we're a, a small, very small minority out here on the streets. Check it out. The land, baby, where anything's possible. Yeah, baby, Cleveland, Ohio. Anyways, <laughs> yo, guys, I want you guys, I just want to see you guys end up being long old riders okay i don't want to i'm tired of seeing riders getting killed out here because of riding foolishly out here man you know what i'm saying yes i'm foolish for doing suit uh, wheelies and uh, riding up staircase and doing stupid stuff like that but doing slow wheelies and little stupid hooligans slow fun like that it's uh, like i said it's a much lower chance of you dying than, than speeding. Speed kills most riders out here, guys. That's the number one killer of bikers is speed, okay? And if you, if you realize the riding that you do when you do get a super bike, most of your riding is doing what I'm doing right now, cruising out here. But you think you look cool on your bike when nobody cares. <laughs> but you, you're a legend in your own mind. Everybody is... A lot of this uh, getting a motorcycle is ego driven for the most part for a lot of people, man. They want to look cool. They think it looks cool. And, and uh, you know, I don't consider you real bikers for those of you guys that do that. They buy bikes for looks and stuff. Um, but anyways, guys, man, uh, I'm a young rider at heart here still, guys. <laughs> like I said, I ain't even hit 50 yet. Um, but... You know, to somebody, somebody that's 30 years old, uh, a teenager thinks 30's old. So it's just, it's all relative anyhow. But it's all about uh, gaining wisdom out here, man. Uh, but anyways, guys, I appreciate all you guys. Leave a comment below. Let's talk about it, man. That's why I do these videos in site community discussion. Make sure to hit thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my videos release. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time.